Hey guys, Vitality here, and welcome back to episode 3 of the Solo Survival series. Consistency is basically my middle name at this point. Three episodes in and we haven't quit after day one. I hope you guys are very proud of me. I really need that. But yeah, surprisingly, we've managed to stay alive in this Scorched Earth rat hole. The server is still pretty alive, to my knowledge. I think the pop is like 75%, which definitely isn't bad. It's like day three or something like that, so... You know, can't complain about that. But uh, yeah, today is definitely going to be a pretty chill day. I don't have any plans, didn't have anything in my mind that I wanted to do. Aside from maybe going out and taming a bunch of stegos. If you remember in the last episode, we did get this stego from a raid. So I'm going to chuck this guy out. Hopefully there's enough space somewhere uh, outside. I doubt there will be. But it'd be very, very helpful if there was. Um, what happens if I just chuck it out there? Come on, Anki, you're kind of in the way, mate. Um, but yeah, basically, I want to tame a bunch of Stegos, maybe even a Quetzal. I think that'd be quite good, because uh, I did scout a lot of bases that were on Cliff Plats, and we're going to need a, uh, a Quetzal to, to raid those ones. But uh, yeah, as I said, just going to have a chill episode. Just going to do whatever the whatever wherever the game takes me is where I'll go. So clearly, we're going to need a couple of tames if we want to start using Stegos to raid bases, and uh, one of those things is obviously going to be more Stegos. Ragnarok is the best place to tame these, if you guys were wondering. Uh, if you go to like this grassy field area, I always find high levels around here. I'm pretty sure it's like coded into the game that Ragnarok has higher levels than other maps. I'm not 100% sure on that if someone wants to, uh, if anybody knows about that, if they could chuck that in the comments, that'd be pretty interesting to know. But yeah, I definitely recommend Ragnarok because uh, they've always got some high level tames around. I forgot to check the gender of uh, this Stego, but it's a uh, level 130, I believe, so... You know, it's not a bad uh, Stego to, to use for soaking. Hopefully it's got some good HP on it. Okay, we've tamed up that Stego. It had about 4k HP, which I think is okay. I'm pretty sure anything over 4,000 is, uh, isn't terrible. Although I could be wrong on that as well. I'm not a certified Stego tamer by any means. I've also kind of just been thinking, like, there's no way my base has enough space to uh, raise any Stegos or do any breeding. So I think I'm going to have to, like... I don't know, either find a new location to do that, or maybe set up a turret tower outside my base. The issue with that is though, is I'm pretty much giving away my base location because I'm kind of relying on staying hidden. So I might go and look for another rat hole on uh, Scorched Earth and see if we can just store some tames in there. I reckon, I reckon that idea's got a little bit of potential. But yeah, I'll tame a couple more stegos and then I'll, I'll go get a snow owl, I think. Alright, now that we've got a bunch of soaking dinos, we're gonna need some place to store them. Obviously, we can't, you know, store them anywhere in this base location, and a solution to this could be to just change base locations and move out somewhere. But I'm kind of attached to this rat hole, I don't want to, I don't really want to leave it just yet, maybe in the next episode or something along those lines. But you know, if it's not broken, then don't fix it. We've managed to survive in here pretty long, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and look for another Scorched Earth rat hole, just to store some tames in. We might set up a turret tower in the corner of it, and uh, yeah, we'll just use that for general protection. I do actually have a base location that's quite close to here that I reckon I can probably use. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna head there now. So it looks like someone has already made plans to build in here, and uh, there's a couple of storage boxes down there that I'm gonna have to check out. There's no bodies or fabricators or crafting things, so maybe someone is just uh, using this place to store stuff, or they plan to move in here later. Which is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I can use this spot anymore, so yeah. But I will actually head straight back to base so I can make some C4 because, uh, yeah, that's a little bit suspicious. Alright, I'm back at the, uh, the suspect base, I guess you could call it. It's a little name I've given it. Um, I'm just gonna chuck a C4, like, there. Doesn't really matter where I put it. This cave isn't cave damage, so... Oh, did we get the storage boxes? Oh, we did. Turns out they are empty. <laughs> Bit of a waste of C4, I'm not gonna lie. Is there something else below here? No. There's just these mortar and pestles, which are empty. Huh. <laughs> this is super strange. I'm not really too sure what's going on here. Yo, there's a guy on a manor outside. He can't get in here, though. Oh, he's in here now, though. Oh, 
Oh, we just have to not get bowled because I didn't bring a weapon. I've only got the C4 on me. Go, go, go. No! 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 We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling now, we're chilling now, we're chilling now, we're chilling. We're too high, I think, yeah. It looks like I won't be able to use that rat hole. I'm gonna have to find something else. Alright, I'm just gonna chuck the little breeding area just like around there. I think that should be fine. Um, yeah, that's kind of out of the way in this little uh, tunnel. It'll get the job done for now. We're only going to really use it to store stegos, um, just so they can get some levels. And uh, yeah, so we can do a little bit of breeding. I'll go get the other stegos I have out of upload. Alright, I'm just going to chuck these stegos out now. They're going to have cryo sickness, but it'll be fine. One thing I don't really have is a uh, stego saddle BP. I'm still rocking the primitive saddle BP, so I think I'm going to have to go out and uh, potentially either find one myself or trade for one. I'm kind of leading towards uh, looking for someone to trade with because I am pretty lazy. And looking for BPs is kind of like the worst thing in the world to me. There's just, it's, there's so much disappointment in that task. So I might hunt around the trading uh, channel in the Discord and see if anyone's selling one. But uh, yeah, hopefully I should be all good to leave these stegos here. I'm going to chuck a bed down uh, just so I can get to them pretty quickly if I need to. But uh, yeah, not a bad little spot to leave them. Hopefully they should be safe. Now that we've gone out of our way to tame a bunch of stegos, I feel like it's only it only makes sense for us to finally use them. And a couple of people have shown me this base that I can go and raid. So shout out to those guys. Massive, uh, yeah, definitely massive thanks to them. I've never actually seen this rat hole before, but it's on Crystal Isles, just around the place where you tame Crystal Wyverns. It looks like it could be pretty juicy. I'm seeing some fridges in there. And uh, yeah, stegos should hopefully be able to take take that amount of turrets we did get i did get a friend of mine that's playing on the service to craft me some uh some stego saddles with the bp that they have and i gave them a couple of turrets to make up for it so you know everything i'm doing is is uh it is solo i guess <laughs> he's gonna get shot yeah that's fine i'm gonna see if i can run up to this base with my rocket launcher out and uh yeah hopefully we can uh destroy the destroy that turret wall that way all right let's go straight into it Oh yeah, there's no chance I'll be able to do this, right? I might just have to soak with the stego, which isn't the end of the world. I've just got my uh, my other stego out there for some uh, mating boost, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, the mate boost is actually so OP. I don't realize this, but like, it's it's tanking quite a bit. Okay, potentially we might be in this base. I just need to double check. Nothing appears to be shooting me, but it might just be because the turrets can't actually see me, so I'll be very careful here. No, it looks like we've actually drained all the turrets. Oh, there's one down there. Yeah, okay, so one of these turrets still has uh, ammo in it. I'm not sure which one it is, though. Okay, it was those two there. Let's see if we can get that one down there. Pretty sure we got it. I'll just wait for that dust to clear. And uh, yeah, we should be in the space. I'm excited to see what these guys have got. It's pretty much the first legit raid of the entire series. All my other raids have been stolen from me so far. So this, this is a good feeling for sure. How much ammo? Oh. These were pretty much empty anyway. Oh, this one wasn't. Alright, so this looks like the door. Okay, another internal. These guys were pretty insistent on internals, which is fair enough. I don't think it's going to have any ammo in it, but, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, it's not even shooting me. I'll just turn off this, uh, this generator if I can. Nope. <laughs> it's not something I can do, unfortunately. What's up here? bed. They really painted this base up. They made it look quite nice. I've got to give that to them. Um, are there any internals down there? Because I don't want to get stuck. I think we're chilling. I think it doesn't seem to be like there are any internals anywhere. So, uh, yeah. I'll have a look through this base. Smithy. Some C4. That's super nice. 
It actually looks like they had a Stego Saddle BP as well, which is awesome, because I am... I was definitely looking for one of those. Uh, Giga Saddle, Rex Saddle, some Weapon BPs. I'll take a bunch of this Hide Fiber. Uh, basically, because it just means I can craft my own saddles, which is which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to break the Fabricator. Ooh! That is a lot of turtles. Oh my god. And some Stegos. Anything amazing? I'm going to have to take a bit of time to go through these turtles, but that that's an awesome find. Very happy with that. This vault is labeled resources. Uh, that's locked. We're going to have to chuck a C4 down here, it seems. So I'll just put one here. And I'll, I'll vacate the area and see if that, that does the trick. Looks like it did, yep. What was here? Feeding trough. Bunch of meat. We could probably use this for the uh, the snow owl. Bit of honey. I'll wait for this uh, wreckage to dissipate because it really does lag out your game. Uh, what was this? Mortar and pestle. Bit of gunpowder. Nothing too crazy. That's quite good. Smithy. Oh, we've already checked that. Where's the fabricator here? Let's have a look. Bunch of bullets. Okay. C4 detonators. That's that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually quite happy with that. We can put uh, a lot of this stuff towards our next base. And uh, yeah, we should definitely have enough C4 for this. Oh, <laughs> that's a little bit dangerous. We should have enough C4 for this vault. I doubt this uh, little rat hole is cave damage. Is there anything under here? Or, or not? Oh, could I have... Oh, I'm so confused. This location is so strange. Mm, okay. Looks like they've got vaults below. So I'm going to have to blow up there as well. So I'll chuck C2, C4 down there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get well away from this one because this is going to... It's going to tear up out half the base. Jesus. Right, I need to... What is down here? Could I have, like, just gone away from here without doing anything? Ooh! They've got, like, a little secret... Secret vaults down here. What a... Mason. Meso. This is Meso's vault. This is such a strange Chris like rat hole. I've never ever seen this before. That's kind of cool. I didn't I didn't I did not know this existed at all. Check the chem bench, pretty much nothing. Yeah, we'll just get through this vault real quick. We didn't actually do any damage to it, which is a little bit uh a little bit unfortunate. Oh yeah, we did actually do some damage to it. It just wasn't wasn't loading. Alright, I'm just gonna speed through opening this one. Yeah, there we go. There's a bag. That's good. You always like to see that. Let's have a look. Just some resources. As it said, can't really complain about that. Definitely going to take the uh, the fiber and hide, though. That's that's super useful for saddles. Um, is it worth blowing up that vault? Maybe. Maybe not. I'll check what's in this uh, armor and weapons vault, and then uh, might, might blow up mesos and... DK's vault. Oh, it looks like this, uh, it is cave damage. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's that's helpful. I'll just blow them all up at the same time then. Alright, looks like those two vaults were empty, but the armor and weapon one, that was full. So let's check that one out. And uh, yeah, just full with armor and weapons, who would have guessed? There might be some good saddles here, though. Some good PT ones, which I'll definitely take. Is that Quetzal? Yeah. Any Snow Owl saddles, potentially? Rock Golem? I guess I'll, I'll just I'll just pick and choose what I want from here. I think I've gotten everything from there that I could want. I'm not really too sure if it's worth blowing up this vault, but I might I might just do it, because we've got a fair amount of C4 left over. And uh, yeah, I've got no, no plans to use it. We can always make more. I'll check if that's cave damage, though, actually, first. Yep, looks like it is. That's awesome. <laughs> Saves me a lot of C4. And it uh, looks like there is a bag. Oh no, that's the power generator. 
Okay, it looks like that, that vault was in fact empty. But uh, yeah, that's all good. I'm actually really, really happy with this raid. Did not expect it to be anywhere near as profitable as it was. It's probably not worth blowing into those two vaults at the top there. Um, they might just be covering the generator, I think. But, uh, but yeah, not a bad raid at all. Especially all of these turtles. I think I'm going to have to find a new base location for the next episode and spend a bunch of time building that up. Basically just because the rat hole that we're in is definitely not going to be able to sustain all of this. Not even my little cliff plat that I set up earlier on is going to be able to hold this many turtles. So yeah, I'm going to have to to look for a new, new base location. So that's probably what the next episode is going to be about. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end this episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.